Hi everyone, it's Tammy and this is card number six of the 12 cards of Halloween. And this is the card that we'll be making today. It's really cute. Side fold card and it is, um, I'm going to do two of these, one for me and one for one of you. And you can win this card. All you need to do is you must be a subscriber and be 18 years or older. And if you're not, you need to have parental permission because I am going to ask you for your address so that I can send the card along. I need you to leave a comment down below with your name and email to be entered to win this particular card. I will choose a winner on October 15th or close to October 15th. And you need to have put your comment in by the 14th because I'm not sure what time on the 15th I will choose and I will email you that you have won and ask you for your address and I need to have your address by October 20th or the next winner will be chosen as soon as I get your address I will put it in the envelope and mail it a blank card will be mailed unless you ask for otherwise so it'll be sent just like this and I'm only including the envelope to mail it in I'm not going to include an extra one for you to send it along because I can't fit another envelope inside the same sized envelope and I'm trying to make this open for international and US uh, subscribers so I'm keeping my cost down too since I'm mailing 12 of them and then I'm going to also be doing something very similar if not the same for Christmas. So here we go. Let's go ahead and make this card. So first thing is a piece of Whisper White card stock. And I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I have my link down below if you are interested in purchasing anything. I am using a lot of Stampin' Up! product, but not exclusively Stampin' Up! because I do know that other vendors have wonderful things as well. But when I'm mentioning exactly what it is, it usually means it's a Stampin' Up! product. And this is a piece of pumpkin pie that I have on top, the cardstock. And then I have a piece of basic black. And I'm just going to put that about uh, maybe right here. And then I have a piece of designer card series paper that I'm going to put on here. This is retired. It was from last year. We do have some for this year, but I still had a lot from last year, so I wanted to go ahead and use some of that, and it is really cute. This is also from that same designer series pack, and I am just going to notch the bottom and they are double sided so you could use whichever side you wanted of these because they're both really cute but I'm not really fond of that one actually I, but I love this one so I'm going to change this one up just a hair the last one I put all the way at the side but I'm going to move this one over just a little bit because I think I would like that better so the card that you guys get are is going to be I learned a little bit from the first one <laughs> And then I have a 2x2 two two square of basic black that I am just putting about right here. And then I have one and three quarters inch square of the pumpkin pie. And then I have a one and a half inch square that I'm going to first stamp on. And I'm going to use basic black and I'm going to use lemon lime twist taking a old retired stamp set from Stampin' Up. This one says Boo. I'm going to put it kind of toward the bottom. Oops. And see, I kind of put it to the side and I didn't really stamp very well, which is why I don't adhere paper to the card until I'm finished stamping because sometimes you have to turn it over and use the other side. So lucky for us, they give us two sides. And this is from the Bitty Boos stamp set. If you guys are interested, I'm sure you can find it on eBay or Etsy or somewhere if you, if you have to have this stamp set. But frankly, you can use whatever stamp set you have. This doesn't even have to be a Halloween card if you don't want it to be. And then I'm taking this scaly cat from the same collection and just putting it on top of the Boo like that. Cleaning it up, putting it away. 
and let's put our ink away. I can see it's still kind of wet, so I'm just kind of waiting for it to dry. And then I'm going to use my snail adhesive and put it right down on top. And then I'm taking some enamel dots that I got from Cartabella and I don't know, I might use, hmm, I used the orange on this card and I like that. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't do the edges of this one. I wonder if it's too late. Oh, I got it. Taking my lemon lime twist, doing the edges. I like the way that looks. So let me put that back down there. And I'm going to use a piece of scrap paper and just kind of push it down because I don't know if any of that ink will get on and a little bit of it did. I just didn't want to get that all over me. Okay, so now that I have that on there, does the color. Okay, I don't want green. The yellow is kind of cool and the orange is cool. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and stick with the orange since I did that on the first card. I'll just do it again and make them exactly the same. Well, they're homemade, so no two are exactly the same, but you know what I mean. Okay. So this is card number six. And again, you can win it. All you need to do is leave a comment with your name and be a subscriber. Give me your email address. And this is where I'm going to put the stamp and have it ready to mail and you need to reply by the 15th of the month and I will get back with you and I need your email address or your address by the 20th so that I can get this out to you and you can use it in time for Halloween. So thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.